You good? Let's go. All right, so what's poppin', everybody? It's your man, Young Ida Costello, back again with another video. Now, ah, I got my phone. I got my iPhone 6S. Yes, my baby is looking pristine right here. And I know that if you guys are reading the title, you guys already know what we are about to get into. That means that we are about to get into the long-awaited another episode of My Kicks. Now, honestly, I get a lot of new subscribers all the time, and I realize that a lot of you guys might not know what the old segments that I bring back are. Now, if you guys don't know what My Kicks is, My Kicks is where I will post on Instagram and say, hey, send me a story of how your kicks got ruined or if somebody robbed your kick so I would tell people to send me a story and people will send me a story and then I would just randomly go on Instagram and just start reading stories as I go and also I know that after this video a lot of you guys might just start sending in stories so if you guys watch this video and you guys want to have your story shown in the next my kicks then I recommend that you go to this IG right here first of all make sure you follow it and once you follow it whenever I decide to make another one I'll post it and you guys can go ahead and go to it leave a story and then hopefully you'll be able to be in the next one but without further ado you guys already know that we gotta stop the talking chill out and just get into the video so without further ado sit back relax go to walgreens get you a coupon for an arizona iced tea preferably the green tea get in your whip turn around hit a u-turn and go to mcdonald's and get you a whopper because we are about to get it popping all right so the first story is from caden swift and he reads, so I had just bought the Air Jordan 11 7210s and I wore them around so a bit, so I naturally decided to clean them. I used Crep Protect Cleaner and I scrubbed on the Jumpman logo and part of the paint came off. Now everyone says they're fake because one leg is missing and I can never wear them. Dude, that sucks. And honestly, I'ma keep it real. A lot of people like Crep Protect and the shoe veneer, the waterproof or suede, stuff like that. Yo, even though it might waterproof the shoe, I still never trust it because like, I remember I had these pair of Air Jordan 21s, right? And I actually still have them. Now the Air Jordan 21s, these were the CD Pack 21s. So these were the black and red ones that came in that all black suede and they were extremely dope. And it's just that the only thing that was wrong with them is that it's an old shoe. So naturally the suede will start to fade a little bit. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I get like some suede cleaner or like some suede protector or like some suede blackener that can blacken the suede and I bought like a shoe cleaning product that was said to blacken the suede and when I used it it turned the natural nubuck on my Air Jordan 21 CDPs to straight leather and the shoe was ruined after that I couldn't wear it after that because it didn't look nice so I definitely know where you're coming from and to be honest I just don't trust those I don't trust any of that I don't trust the reshoe veneer I don't trust the crep protect I don't care what it is I just use dishwashing detergent or laundry detergent scrub them bad boys down real quick and keep them moving but as for the people saying that your shoes look fake those dudes are just idiots bro I remember I went to high school right and I wore the Air Jordan 15 SEs now a lot of people in high school will claim that they know a lot about J's listen to me at my high school we had a period called enrichment period right and throughout the enrichment period it would be like hey maybe you need to go to a class that you need to study harder in enrichment period was pretty much just a study hall but at my school everybody used to sell and trade sneakers so they made this class called sneaker class and I remember we had like this trivia game and you know I'm in like 10th grade at this time and I've been liking shoes since I was like in sixth grade so I've always known my Jordans and I've always known a lot about Jordans I've just never had them and I remember he gave us a test paper and it had all these Air Jordan sneaker facts on it and all you had to do is guess them right to win a prize. I remember the first question was when did the Air Jordan 1 come out? It said 1985, 2001, 2014, or 1991, right? I got every single question right because I know I did because I'm a G. So there was this dude that sat behind me, right? And he looked at my paper and he was like, yo, Chris, all these answers are wrong. The Air Jordan 1 didn't come out in 1985. It was 2004. I was like... What? 2004? And to be completely honest, I didn't take anybody else serious at that school after that. I felt like, bro, if you don't even know when the first Air Jordan came out, but you have the nerve to claim that you're into sneakers or you're like some kind of sneakerhead, dude, get out of my face, please. So honestly, as it pertains to you, just let them boys think what they want. Who cares, honestly? All right, so the next story is from Ashton.str, and he reads, last year I was in middle school and got me some new Harachis, looking all clean and nice. Anyways, the next day I wore them to school, and you wouldn't believe how many dudes were trying to step on them. 
So I got my three homies and had them form a wall around me so when somebody tries to mess with my kicks, they will beat them and make sure those kicks stay crispy. Ashton, 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 you are a G, bruh. Back in like those middle school days, like you don't know how many people would just go around stepping on shoes like it was fun. Like I think it's just jealousy, bro. I think it's just the fact that people want what you don't have. And then when people can't get what you don't have, they kind of think, well, if, if I can't get it, then, then nobody can. That's lame in my opinion, bro. Like if you in middle school and you broke and you can't get shoes, like you need to get your hustle on. And to be honest, also like if you're in middle school and you have shoes, bro, kudos to you, bro. Cause in middle school, I didn't have like the freshest J's and I remember even like walking into school wearing like Air Maxes and stuff like that People always used to hate and people you should just love to step on my shoes Like just to be rude like like just to be douches. That's the thing bro People are jealous people want what you want and when people can't have what you have when they really want it that bad Then there's probably three things that they'll do number one They'll probably hate number two if they could they'll probably steal them and number three They'll try to ruin them so that nobody else can have any fun with it That's just how haters are and those kind of people you just can't associate yourself with all right so the next story is from yeah underscore dot nick and he reads one day i spent the night over a friend's hotel party in florida i slept in late that day and they decided to burn my jordan 11 pantone when we went out to eat they gave me the shoes and ashes what they burned your hold on 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 they burned your air jordan 11 pantones hold up i got it, were those were, were the Pantones fake? If the Pantones are fake, then I mean like then, then they, they were fake. But if the were the Pantones re nah, bro. Like we 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 got uh, were the Pantones real though? Like that's the real question, bro. Did they burn? They did not burn real Pantones, bro. They no, bro. They 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 didn't burn. No, they didn't do that, bro. They did not. They didn't burn real Pantone, bro. Did they burn real Pantones, bruh? That is the question, bruh. Because if they burnt real Pantones, real Pantones, bruh? That's a fade off top. Like, that's just... Squid, like as soon as I, as soon as I see my burnt shoe, I'm going to be sitting there looking at my shoes, like my, my shoes burnt up in my hands, like... What? And then, like, I all of a sudden, I'm gonna drop them bad boys, boom, like, to, to the person to the left. Then I'm gonna be like, what? You, what? Boom, to the person to the right. Bruh, I don't care how long you've known those friends, bruh. They had, they had to catch the fade. I, I don't care if that was your brother, bruh. If your friends were like your brother, bruh, then they had to catch the brotherly fade, bruh. Like, what? You, nah, you gotta run 30 after that. You burn my pants. You know how much those resell for, bro? Like, you can't just get those. You gotta, you gotta drop an arm and a leg to get those back. You need some sensu beans. You need some juju beans. You need, you need a genie and, bro. No, bro. Nah, bro, like, for real, though. You, you must be a real good friend, bro. Cause, like, they give you your shoes and ashes. Arizona 11 Pantones, bro. I don't, bro. I don't care how good of a time I was having on that trip, bro. People getting slapped up. What? You know what, bro? Dude, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, for the last 20 minutes, this camera has been rolling, and I've been, like, figuring out, like, what to say after that, because, like, like, in the history of, like, my kicks, I've never, ever, ever heard something like that, you know what I mean, like, like, you, like, you, you got friends, and your friends, like, you, like, you, you gotta be lying, like, you, you can't be serious, your friends take your shoes off your feet, and they burn them, bro, like, I mean, like, like, I get it, like, that's your friends, and, and they do, they do crazy stuff like that, like, I've done crazy stuff to Jay plenty of times, I've, like, J Jay's been sitting in his living room doing nothing, and I've come in his house through the back door, threw some newspapers on the floor and stuck my finger in his Cheerios while he was eating the cereal. Like, and he's gotten mad. Like, ah, but, but like, the, the, you would think that, like, there's a limit. You know what I mean? Like, you don't just go, like, what? I mean, like, that's just, like, like, I, I don't know if I could be friends with you anymore if you burn my shoes. Nah, like, nah, bro, you gotta be lying, bro. Honestly, bro, I've been thinking of a way to end this video, bro. Like, a real way to end this video. Like, I don't, like, I don't know what to say. Like, I can't even really say nothing after that. I mean, you know what? Fuck it.